Hello, Capricorn. It looks like as you say yes to your higher calling and you reach new levels of mastery, the universe is gifting you with quite the connection. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <laughs> Welcome in. This is a Capricorn Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. But let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Okay. Celebrate the sacred gap, number 47, reduced to an 11. Give thanks for buffer time. That feels really good. Oh, nice. Say yes to your higher calling. Number 12, reduced to a 3. Be a human exclamation mark. Hmm. It almost feels like you got to say yes to the calling in order to end the gap. One begets the other here. Okay. Hmm. This higher calling will put you in a place to be seen by others on a public scale. Okay, for who this is for. You've reached a level of mastery and there is time to go even further beyond. I'm hearing someone groan. It's like, yeah, it's like, isn't it over? No, it's not over. <laughs> Just getting started. <laughs> Okay, let's get into this. Show me what's going on with Capricorn, please. Show me what's going on with Capricorn. Pisces energy underneath there with the High Priestess. She's been coming up a lot this week. Eight of Cups. Three of Wands, Hierophant card of Taurus, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords, Five of Coins, Queen of Wands. Hmm, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to read this side as you. This is who you're connected with. This is a situation. I feel like you are unburdening yourself of something and you're kind of like, Mary Poppins it out of there. <laughs> this is how it kind of looks. It's coming up. Got it. Okay. So this story just got super specific. So sorry about that. But it's coming through that way. So I got, I'm going to deliver it as it comes. Um, you're going to meet someone on your spiritual path. Okay, you're going to meet someone on your spiritual path. Your intuition is currently growing from this point of mastery. Okay, um, your intuition is currently growing. And as you are excited to go along this path, I mean, it's, it's making some big physical changes in your world. And we'll get into that. There's a part of you that's like, it's like 50-50. It's like, I'm excited to see what comes into my life now that I have evolved. And then it, the other half is... I'm kind of scared to see what comes in. <laughs> now that I've evolved, have I evolved enough? Kind of thing. It's so funny. Um, it's coming up that this person that you will connect with, we'll see how deeply that will go. Um, Cause it's almost like you meet them on the spiritual path. And there's a travel element involved. Interesting. Anyway, maybe you travel to a class and they're the... Oh, are they the teacher? Mama! Hmm, <laughs> that's giving that vibe. Are they a spiritual teacher? Because Hierophant High Priestess, that is a pair. That is a pair. Interesting. You guys do come with some interesting stories. <laughs> hmm.
So you can meet them in the class or they could be the teacher, heavy on the teacher vibes. And it looks like they choose not to see how awesome you are on purpose <laughs> because they're teaching. They're at a point of leadership where you are involved. Okay. They're at a point of leadership where you are involved. Interesting. Okay. Plot thickens. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, it is a soul bond love. High Priestess, card of Pisces, Gemini there with the lovers, Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. Yes, it is a soul bond. And it does feel like nothing can be done about it, but something changes. Interesting. I love the bottom of the deck. So much, so many goodies you can get from under there. Okay, that's how this stands. Let's get into the situation. Details of the Eight of Cups, please. Details of the Eight of Cups, please. <laughs> Nine of Coins. <laughs> the Moon, card of Pisces. Ace of Wands. Five of Wands, Five of Cups. There's that High Priestess. There she is. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So you see that, okay. You're, you're a little bit taken aback by the unknown here too, of what could possibly happen. Two elements of Pisces here for those keeping track. Okay. Um, trying to get ideas of how to make something work that's a little more personal a lot of struggle and it feels like it feels like to you it's a missed opportunity doesn't mean it is because we got more to clarify right but it feels like a missed opportunity it feels like someone who's off limits there we go thank you it is someone who is off limits show me the three of wands for capricorn please Show me the Three of Wands. Queen of Cups. That Six of Cups. That did want to come out. Aries. With the energy with that Emperor. Seven of Swords. You. Okay. It's not coming across. It's not coming across as married. No, they might be. Okay, we'll get into that when we get to them, because what I'm seeing here is you're in a place where you are emotionally open and available for the next connection. Okay, you you got yourself to that place. You've done the healing things, the soul evolution things. You you've done the work. So you are ready. So when you run into this, it's like, ah, oh, damn it. Oh, there goes another one kind of thing. There, there's, there's something that's in the way that makes this connection an obstacle. Show me the Knight of Wands, please. And you were, you were gung ho. You, you were ready. Show me the Knight of Wands for Capricorn, please. Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords, King of Coins, that's Taurus energy, and the Star, Aquarius energy. This might be a test. Have you had a third party wound before, Capricorn? Because this might be a test. It kind of feels that way. Okay, so you got it, got it. You reassess. You you don't allow any outside person to make you confused. Good job. That's the kind of work you've done. Good job. So you kind of set this aside. You kind of set this aside. It makes you it, it sure it makes you sad, sure, because it's it's again, missed opportunity, but you 
the, apparently this is a lesson that was learned. Show me the five of coins, please, for Capricorn. Because it, it feels like you set it aside for to focus on different goals, other goals that you also have. Show me the five of coins. Someone is literally trying to move wherever it makes them most happy to be or live. Okay. The exact place, this the, the exact housing, house, apartment, townhouse, whatever, the exact place, the specific address is still up in the air. Perhaps you haven't decided on neighborhood, okay? Um, Something about this is a feat of strength to obtain, so you could be buying something instead of renting or qualifying for, for a specific rental. Um, there's something here where you want to move your physical world to some place that makes you happier. And once you decide on where that is, then it's going to be a very fast-moving process. There's, there's no reason to dawdle for some reason. Okay. Show me what's going on with this person. Okay, let's start with the Hierophant, please. Ah, there it is again. Moon, moon High Priestess, Moon High Priestess. Hierophant again. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, Taurus. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some of this. So this person, this masculine knows that's a two of cups with you and they're still the blocking it. They're either blocking it or they don't see it. They don't, they don't see you through the moon. They don't see you through the moon. Also possible. Okay. They're too busy commanding a crowd because that's what it keeps kind of coming back to that teacher, like teacher seminar kind of thing. Okay, it's interesting. Show me the two of swords. Show me the two of swords. So it is a soul bond. It's just because you run into a soulmate doesn't mean that they're available. <laughs> it doesn't, unfortunately. Show me the two of swords, please. Five of swords. Seven of swords. Hmm. Then what is the problem only the dynamic? So they don't have anyone. They're single. They're ready for new too. That's that's the secret. This masculine does not flaunt that he is single. D that does not. I'm hearing will not. Okay. <laughs> so the very about his own business. It doesn't need other people to be. Okay. Um he's he's available. Emotionally, too. Mm. Emotionally, too. Hmm. Okay, show me the Queen of Wands, please. Show me the Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Six of Cups, four of Two of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, there it is. There you are. Empress, Card of Taurus, and Libra, Ten of Pentacles. There's the whole cycle, building it together. Understanding that this is the thing. Okay. Okay. Hmm. This is the feeling of... So something happens where you cross paths cause th and actually interact. Um, because he sees you as attractive but is trying to resist thinking you're feeling anything further when he feels the two of cups right off the bat because you're leaving. Maybe you live different states, whatever. Um, so it's showing that he's at a choice point here. It's interesting. Show me a little more about this choice point, please. Do 
between the ones again. Ooh, he dreams about you. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> and he accepts, he accepts that this feminine that I have met is not merely a friend. They don't know what to do. The heart space is waking up here too. And the, the feelings are increasing. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. The feelings are increasing. Okay. Mm. So he does keep in touch in some kind of way. Interesting, Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on the brink of shifting focus. So you're out the door and he's like, wait. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Hmm. Understanding fully. We'll talk, you know, next time you're in town, we could go out as friends. Well, he, he knows he ain't friends. He knows he ain't friends. Smart guy. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this guy, with this masculine and his current energy, his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye! Ooh.